Hey guys, and welcome to Automation Empire, a game you are just gonna fall in love with. I've, I've already fallen in love with it. I'm already addicted to it. It is awesome. We're just gonna jump in and start, start playing, and I'll tell you about it as we go along. Uh, there are a bunch of different maps that you can play on with different environments. The, um, the objectives are the same, but it's just like, like what, what kind of environment do you like playing on? We're gonna start on Split Valley. And our objective here is to output 25,000 kilograms of resources doesn't matter what it is and we have to do that in a in a three month period okay but it's not like you've got three months to do it it's like during any three month period you need to output twenty five thousand. seems so simple right and it is and it is but it's the game's kind of like chess well we'll call it skyland and i'm going to say starter mode no starter mode starts you with a bunch of um, starting buildings but we're going to start from absolute scratch so the game's like, chess is such a simple game, if you think about it. It's, you know, you've, got, you've got very few pieces, um, very limited moves, but the permutations make it an incredibly deep and complex game, right? So um, this is exactly the same. Split Valley, 25,000 in three months. Okay, let's do this. And I'm going to show you how to get like pretty much a perfect start and make loads of money really quickly. So let's, um, let's start off. The way you input and output to the map initially is via road and via trucks. So we're going to take um, we're going to take a road entry, and I'm going to flip it around, and basically you just bury it into any of these rocks, and that's your uh, that's your starting point. So we'll start off with we we'll have an, an entry point there, and then I'm going to put in a uh, a loading point or pit stop. Flip that around and I'm going to put that straight away and then I'm going to have the rest of the road going over in that direction and we're going to have a road exit surprise surprise going out over here that will do nicely okay now we started off with 180,000 and you can see I've already spent a ton just putting this in and as soon as we get the road connected we'll start getting trucks coming in here now you'll see this pit stop is red at the moment we need to turn that on. So we'll say um, it's turned off at the moment and you can set the priority for your drones. We'll get to the drones in a second. We'll say this is high priority. So that's now turned on, that's active. Okay, we have resources lying around the map. These are coal deposits. These are iron deposits up here. We've got some more coal over here. We've got some more iron down here. Somewhere, oh, we've got some more iron down here, some more coal down here. And there are other deposits off on the map. Now at the moment, we're limited to this area, but later on we'll be able to expand even further. Okay, so what are we going to do? How do we get this stuff out of the ground? Well, we're going to start off with the mining rig. Now this costs us 800 a month in terms of uh, electricity. Okay, so it costs us 800, month, 800 a month in electricity. And this game's all about balancing your output against your power usage. That, I love the simplicity of this game. It is awesome. Right, I am going to put onto this uh, a storage. So we're going to output using a, a transfer tube. It's just the R key to rotate. By the way, I love all the controls. All the controls make sense in this game. Uses middle mouse to move a, to move this around. WASD for this. And um, yeah, R to rotate. It's all totally intuitive. Uh, controls that you've used in a million other games. Right, we're going to use um, um, a small container to store the stuff. And then I'm going to output it using one of these transfer tubes. So we're going to output it. And what are we going to output it into? Well, we're going to put it into ore trucks. So we're going to have a mine track, which is going to be running along here. Okay, so that's how that works. Now we've got to power all this stuff. And uh, I've got to put in a power station. So let's get let's get the electricity put in. I think I'm going to put my power station somewhere over here in the middle. Probably about there. Now, what another thing I love about this game is if you put something in the wrong place, right, you could just delete it and you get all the money back. So you can plan it, you can mess around, you can try it out, and I, I love it. This game does everything right. 
the, the people who design this know how to design a game. I'm saying it right up front. You're going to love it. So let's put that in over there. And then I'm going to put in some, uh, some power poles to bring some power over here. Um, yeah, you know what? That's fine for now. Okay, so we're going to have... This outputs into the storage. The storage outputs into mine carts, which are going to be going around on a track. And then at the other end, now let's see, I want this mine cart, uh, sorry, the, the eventual output coming out here. Let's, you know what, let's do that. Let's kind of work backwards, which is, I think in this game, is kind of a good way to do it. So you need to, um, you need to package up the goods for them to be shipped out. And you do that with a crate maker. Okay, so here's a crate maker. We'll flip this around. And we'll put in a crate maker. Let's. I'm going to put the crate maker there, right? Now, the reason I'm putting it there, well, it's like, why, why don't you put it a bit closer? It's because we want to output. Um, and this is a, an unload station. So we're unloading the goods from here. It's a little bit confusing, the load and unload, but we're unloading from here. And then, like, uh, like if, we, if we're outputting stuff from here, we would use a, a, a load. So... We're unloading from here, and um, and we can make this like as long as we want. But it's expensive, two and a half thousand each one of these conveyors. So I'm probably going to put in a couple for now. Yeah, that's fine. And again, you see, this is red. It, like I love that it's clear, right? This is turned off at the moment. So we can turn it on, and we can set the priority for the drones. We're going to set that to high priority. We'll get to drones in a second. Okay, so how does the stuff get into this? Well, we're going to do similar kind of thing. We're going to put in a, a storage. And I'm just going to use a small container for now. Uh, I've just got to get this right. So let's put that there. Oh, no, actually, that's the wrong place. I need to put that one further back because you need a connector. So we're going to have one of these transfer tubes and it needs to be going out of here into this one. Boom. All right. So how does the stuff get into here? Well, the opposite the opposite transfer tube that we used over here. So that's that's putting stuff into the carts. We're going to use one that sucks it out of the carts. Flip you around. And I love that the arrows are perfectly clear. It's very difficult to mess up with this game, which is awesome. Now, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing this isn't lined up, right? Now, in a lot of games, that would be like instant problems because you're like, oh, man, it's not, it's not lined up and I, I can't sell this stuff because it's I don't get all the stuff back but with this we can just go oh well no problem let's get rid of that that and that let's put in uh, what, did, what did I want first I want uh, I want my the thing that sucks it up out of the mine carts there we go and then that goes into a storage and then that comes out like that and then it goes into a crate maker which Oh, I can't quite put in. Get rid of that one. Put in the crate maker. Crate maker goes there. And then we can throw in a couple more of these uh, unloads. Boom, boom. There we go. All right, awesome. Looking good. Now, we can um, initially just have the cart, a, a mine cart, going backwards and forwards. Eventually, we're going to turn it into a loop. But we're going to start with this. So I'm just going to add one cart. They cost 5,000. It's expensive. Look, we start with 180,000. We're already down to 34,000. So we put in a mine cart. And the mine start, cart starts going backwards and forwards. And it will fill up here, unload here, fill up here, unload here. All right? To get this running, all we need to do is finish off the power. So we'll grab, uh, we'll grab another power pole. Run that over there. And run that there. And now our mine springs to life. Now this outputs one coal ore every 10 seconds. And you can see it goes into here. And this will, if we watch this closely, you'll see, actually see this going up. And then when there's enough in there, this will fill up. Ah, oh, I love the animations as well. And then it gets sucked up into here. And, and we'll go into there. What The first one just kind of gets stored in here. But then the next one that comes along, which should be any time now. Come on, grab that. There we go. And then that'll come over here. Nope, still not feeding into there yet. 
But it will. Oh, well, you know what? We haven't got any power over here. That's why. Let's get, uh, let's get our power poles and hook this up. And then this should start demanding from this. Come on, come on, bring me some. There it goes. Oh, and now this is starting to churn it out. I don't know why we're not seeing the, the graphic there of the... Yeah. Anyway, so this is ready to be shipped out. Well, how do we get it from here to the truck? Well, the answer is drones. And we need to set up, first of all, a drone bay. It costs us 320 a month. It's an expensive building. But this is, um, it tells you, this is a, it provides wireless computation power for four drones, houses a neural network supercomputer. So I'm just going to pop this in behind the, behind the power station. There, that's fine. And then we're going to grab drones. And let's put in one, two, three, four drones. And those drones will pick up the crates. They'll load them onto the truck. And when the truck is loaded up with six crates, here comes the sixth one. Boom. The truck will disappear off the map. And once that has disappeared off the map, we'll get paid for those resources. Okay, so let's, uh, let's have a look up here. So currently, we have already used 730 power, $730 worth of power. This goes off the map, and we'll get our first revenue, which is... Set, uh, I was looking up there. That's the previous month. We get 7,000 in revenue. Right Now, each one of these ticks, there are four ticks per month where you pay for your power. So our power, this, this setup is costing us um, 700 per month. Uh, sorry, 700 per week. So that's costing us like 3,000 per month. And then, let's see, we've already made 14,000. So this little setup, nice, efficient little setup. That's bringing us in extra cash. So now we can start improving this. So what's the first thing we want to do? Well, the first thing I want to do is start producing more. So we're going to put in over here. Uh, another mining rig. Boom. Mining rig goes in. And then we're going to grab uh, another small container. Oh, which I can't afford. Got to wait for a little bit more cash to come in. Come on. Load it up, guys. Now, the, the beginning is slow. Right? It takes you a little bit of time to, to get the cash really rolling in. But this is a really good start. And it... I'll show you how this builds up really nicely. Now, um, I wonder, can I can I get that power pole further over to reach that one? Probably not, to be honest. So sometimes you can, um, like the placement of your power poles. I, you know what? I don't think this is a very efficient placement of my power poles. So I'm going to redo them. One, two, th th come on, three, four, five. Can I do it? Better than that? So let's find out. So if I go out one, two, and three, four, and five. Yes. So I got everything connected. Didn't need to put any extra poles in. Hooray, that saved me some money. All right, so now I can put in another storage grab another small container small container goes in there and then we grab uh, oh no that's wrong it's in the wrong place because I've got to put a pipe in between it so let's grab small container goes there connector flipped around the right way so it goes out of the out of the mine into the storage and then gets dumped into an ore cart when I've got enough cash to buy it <laughs> need another thousand come on guys get that thing shipped out <laughs> here we go got another two crates coming out that'll fill this truck that'll give us another six thousand that should uh well sorry like seven thousand isn't it so that should give me enough to hook this up so what do we want we want um we want to extend the mine track now i can afford to do that so oh that's the wrong way let's try that again Re rotate that oh no i haven't got enough i've just paid for my next lot of electricity but now I've got 6,000. Now we can do it. We can extend the mine track to there. We can put in 
the transfer tube to dump it into the cart or some sauce. So now we've got two of these producing. So if there isn't enough in one, it'll fill up at the second one. But what we could also do, if we so wished, is to add an extra cart. So now they can both fill up. But, let me pause this for a second, because if, we, if we've got two carts, they both need to be able to get under here. So that means we need to extend this. So what I'm gonna do is get the mine carts. But rather than just extend it, I'm gonna get the track to curve like that. So, go. So now it sucks out of there, sucks out of there, sweet. Still not seeing the animation in there, don't know why. So this is churning this stuff up. Now you can see, this has only got room for four. Okay, and at the next truck hasn't arrived yet. So what we need to do is extend this a little bit so that we can, uh, we can, we can have more stuff queued up ready for the trucks to arrive. So let's get, uh, oh, but I haven't got enough money to do it. <laughs> Quick. Here comes the next truck though. Where's the last truck? Yep, there's the 7,000 from the last truck. But these things, like two and a half thousand each. They're not cheap. Flip you around. Let's extend it by two. That leaves me 2,200. But now we're even, our drones are even closer so they can fill up even quicker. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five crates, six crates. What we really need next is to be able to have more trucks coming in. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to expand our, uh, or increase the frequency of our truck showing up. Here we go. Because look, this is bringing stuff up. We can't produce any more. I mean, fortunately, it'll get stored in here. There's nothing in there at the moment. That gets loaded up. But see, we've already got like loads to, to ship out. So as soon as this guy moves himself and gets off the map, that'll give us enough that I can put in a second truck stop. And if I put in a second truck stop, it'll increase the frequency of the trucks coming in. Here we go. Next one getting loaded up. This is all working nicely. Right, we've got enough. So I'm going to pause it just for a second. Just for a second, because... I, you know, I, I mean, you don't actually need to, to pause it because this truck, it'll just wait until you've built the road. So what we'll do is put in another pit stop, flip you around. Oh, oh, no, it will let me put it in. Boom, there we go. And we'll set that to high priority, turned on. All right. What we should see now, hopefully, is the first truck coming in. And then we should see a second truck coming in relatively soon. He said, hopefully. <laughs> oh, we'll see. Come on, are you going to come in? Yes, here comes a second truck. But you can see, this is, this is really churning them out. So I've got a little bit of cash. So I'm going to extend this. Uh, what do I want? I want my online station. So let's flip you around that way. And we'll extend this out. Maybe three. Like that. So we're getting them like pretty much as close to the trucks as we possibly can. Now drones are very, very, very stupid, as you will see <laughs> as we go forward. Um, eventually we can replace drones with, um, with, uh, with claw trains. So we can actually have claw trains which will transfer directly from a train. Not these, not these pathetic little mine trucks. Oh no, proper trains. We can, uh, we can transfer uh, the resources directly via a crane or a claw crane onto the trucks and then we don't have to deal with these fairly mindless <laughs> drones they seriously they really have no clue what they're doing they all like try to do the same thing at the same time so look they all go to pick up the same crate they get in each other's way but that's but that's really awesome because this game is all about like how to do things the most efficient way all right, so we uh, let's say we've got twenty-seven thousand. What we want? What do we want to do? We want to increase the stuff going out the door. So we are going to go with uh, another mining rig. Boom, that goes in. And then I'm going to put in 
another storage. So storage, small container. That's going to go there. We'll have a transfer tube going the right way. Boom. And then that's going to go from there. Outputted onto a train. So can you see where this is going? I think you probably can. So now we're going to turn this track into a loop. So we'll go, uh, you know what, let's do it from there because I want to be as, as quick as possible. There we go. Boom. Now we need a little bit more power to hook this up. So boom, that's that hooked up. Alrighty. And this is going to start producing. So we'll put an extra cart on there. So now we've got three carts on here. That's sucking up all the stuff. Now, this is kind of a perfect setup. Why? Because this, oh, sorry, this produces one uh, coal ore every 10 seconds. Okay, so if I've got three, that means I'm producing three every 10 seconds. And then over here, this packager produces one crate every three seconds, which means it can deal with three iron ore every nine seconds. So we're producing three every 10 and dealing with three every nine seconds. So this is basically perfect setup. Now, how are our drones doing? Our drones are doing pretty darn good. They've loaded up that truck. The next truck arrives. And here they go. The next truck's coming in. But you know what? It would be really nice if we kind of had like six drones. So let's increase the number of drones. Let's go over here and we'll put in another drone bay. Flip that around, pop that in there, and we'll buy another couple of drones. Boom, boom. There we go. Or some sauce. How's the cash? Still got 7,000. That's going to bring us in another 7,000. Peachy. All right, paid, paid for a, a, another lot of electricity. So let's um, let's see, what are we doing? Uh, well, last month we made 55,000. Uh, we It cost us 7,000 in power and taxes. And we set a record of 102 kilograms shipped out. Now remember, we've got to ship out 25,000 in a three month period. We're doing like 100 at the moment, but we can expand and there's a lot more to it than this. Oh yeah, this is where the depth starts to come in. Okay, first of all, you've got like the efficiency of how you set your, your, your operation up, but there's a whole research thing. And like the first thing is the refiner and the factory. This unlocks the, ref the fi refiner and the factory. The refiner allows you to turn, for example, coal ore into coal. Now, what this means is it's much denser. So, it's much heavier. So, like, instead of these crates, which currently hold, I think they hold um, uh, one, uh, one uh, kilogram of coal ore, right? If you refine it, they'll hold 10 kilograms of, uh, of just pure coal. And it's the same with, with iron. And then you also, later on, you've got things like the combiner which allows you to combine things into even heavier uh, materials, like steel, for example. So yeah, it's about it's about the efficiency of your setup. It's about your trans transport options. It's about uh, researching to to get better ways to produce resources, um, heavier resources that you can ship out within the time period. You've got. These research, I mean, we'll go through this in the next episode. The next episode is going to be research and stepping it up to the factory. Uh, and then we've got the research upgrades. This allows you to improve the performance of your drones, your mine carts, uh, your trucks, your trains, your, your claw trains, all that kind of stuff. And, and that is it. But man, with such a simple set of components, oh my God, the, the permutations for how you can set this up are incredible. You know what? I've got 46,000. The the next job really is to set up uh, a similar operation to this over here, right? So we would want to go with uh mining rig and then I'd want what do I want? I want storage 
I want to put a small container in there. I want to put a transfer tube in there. I would want to set up a new minecart. Um, that's going to be there. So that's going to be there. We're going to have it outputting from a transfer tube. Let's flip that around. That goes in there. Now. If I'm going to set up an operation like this, like I've got here, over here, I'm going to need more trucks, right? So I'm going to let that truck get out of there and get rid of that. that, that, that. If I hold it down, I can get rid of more. And then I'm going to want to put in, let's see, truck stops. I'm going to want a pit stop there. Oh, I haven't got room to put in another pit stop, right? Oh no, what am I going to do? Well, it's dead easy. We'll, um, We'll hook that up so that these can actually continue going out. We just put in another road entry. Oh yeah. And then, yeah, it's just a case of scaling it up. So we'd want to repeat the situation that I've got going on here, over here. So let's grab, oh man, uh, an unload station. So we're gonna be unloading, let's see, I wanna unload there really. Yeah. So that's, that's where we're gonna be unloading eventually. So that means I'm gonna want my factory lined up with that. And then, where's my track gonna be? My track's gonna be here. So let's run my track out. Uh, oh, no, my car track. Uh, the track, oh, flip it around. Track's gonna go up here to about there. Then it'll turn around and come back for, for these two here. And so now I can, now I can I set this suddenly up. I've got 17,000 to spend. So now I can actually finish this off. Uh, what I want, I want unload station, extend that all the way out to there. All right, cool. Let's see. And I think we can probably get another couple of drones going on here. So let's grab, what do we want? We want drones. Oh, I can't. Just paid the electricity bill. Quick truck, get out. I think I need two trucks in order to buy uh, two drones. We've got six of a potential eight. But I've got to say, our drones are actually doing a pretty good job of keeping up at the moment. Right, let's get this running. We need um, we need an ore truck. So let's put a, an ore truck or a mine cart on there. Uh, oh, I need, to, I need to, I haven't done the power to there. So let's run the power. One, two three okay so now this is going to start yeah this is producing you're going to get filled up no not this time next time maybe come on come on fill up you know you want to and you and straight into there and then this is going to start producing packages hooray so now now we definitely need those extra couple of drones throwing the extra couple of drones and now you can see it's rinse and repeat i've just got to put in the extra two mines over here complete the loop of the track and then we are producing tons of cash that is that that's going to get the money really rolling in at that point we can start to think about researching and getting our first factory going that's going to be the next episode guys if you want to see that come back i hope you enjoyed this please leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the game and i will catch you for the next one Peace out.